Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Socom Mods. I'm Adam. Um, today we're going to be showing you uh, some very basic mods for the recon. First, we're going to do the air restriction removal, and second, we're going to do the clip lock removal. Um, these are very basic, um, but we just haven't done them yet, so I thought you guys should see. Um, first, obviously, you need to remove all your parts and magazines. And right now, I can't take the magazine out. That's just because I'm, it's the lock is still on there, so if I put this in here, you want to make sure your gun is not cocked. What you're going to need for this modification, you need a few things. First, you're going to need a drill with a good size drill bit. We have half inch. Um, that's the best size you can get. If you have to go smaller, you can. Um, a lot of people have asked if they can use the Dremel. I've never tried it before. I would not recommend it. I'd recommend trying to use a drill first. Um, uh, we have various screwdrivers. Let's uh, get into the gun. Okay guys, first, like any modification, you need to unscrew the gun. Let's just do that real quickly. And there are some hidden screws back here. Don't forget those ones. So take this off here, you take it apart here. You can do take this out first, take the spring and the catch out. I had to pull this piece down here to make it come back. And you can pull it straight off. It will be attached onto this knob here. And when, once you, you're going to put this back on, you're going to put on the knob. Okay, so here is the magazine catch. This entire thing we can just get rid of. It's pointless. Um, so you just take that out there. And that's um, it's a magazine lock, so you can just remove that. It'll still um, stay in place until you pull back on the release lever, which is here. Here's the <clears throat> the plunger. There's a plunger tube here. Here's the plunger, and this is the air restrictor we're going to be getting at. Let's go down right there. So we need to drill down there. So I'm going to get my half inch drill bit, and we're just going to start drilling through the back here. If you hold it by here, the sled, it's likely that it can break up here. So you want to hold it by the actual barrel or the actual plunger itself. Don't hold it by the sled. And you can also drill through either side, but because this is smooth in the front here, um, it's likely that you can damage it or uh, screw up the mess up, mess it up, make more friction to the darts. And also if you don't want to drill it completely out, then you will screw that up if you drill through the front. So drill through the back. I have the air restrictor spring here. I just have to get the air restrictor itself out. Sometimes you can knock it out, sometimes it'll fall out itself. Normally it doesn't though, so you have to Do this here. I think I just got it out. It's out now. Let's see. Now, you'll see here, if you look through the back, I still have the uh, a little tiny piece left. So it's almost flush, except I left the furthest plate forward. And what that does is um, it doesn't restrict the air it might slow the air down just a little tiny bit but it's worth keeping on there because if you do not keep it on there then um, the darts can come back into the plunger um, the plunger tube which is um, very bad when they go back in there because you have to take apart the entire gun um, we had we have another gun that we actually drilled up the entire thing um, a lot of our guns actually and they have issues with that. The darts will come back all the way into the plunger. You have to unscrew the entire gun and then you have to take it out and then put it back together. So uh, I would recommend just trying to only take it out to that far. Move this to the side now. So we're basically done with our mods. Um, I'm going to lubricate this up. In fact, I'll see if I can blow out some excess dust. If you keep a lot of dust on here and it gets inside of here, 
um, it might mess up your seal. There you go, just get it all around there. And again, you can buy this from Orange Mod Works on the website. You can check the link in the description for that. There you go, and it goes on just like that. If you want more power, you can get Orange Mod Works uh, Masker Kit. You can look in the link in the description. We also have a video for that. But um, this is just a basic mod. I mean, it's you don't have to buy anything, so it's. And also, I need to mention that if you are afraid of drilling, the Masker Kit doesn't require you to drill anything out because it replaces this entire piece. It needs to fit just like that, and then we can put this piece back on. You don't need to take this out. I just do anyway. This piece goes inside of this lock here. Release on first. You put this on here. Then you put the spring on. And just get it back there. It's not a strong spring, so it's not gonna fly out on you. Last and least, put your uh, attachment catch on. Spring. You can put it together. Test it out. Make sure it uh, moves, because if it doesn't move, then you have a problem. Now it looks like I'm finished. Okay guys, I went and took this blaster out and shot it a bit. Um, as you see, the magazine now comes out without the gun having to be primed. Um, the effective range increases by about 15 feet. I'm not gonna show you the video on that because it's not a new recon, so you're not gonna get the, this won't get the results of what a new recon would be like after being modified. Um, but we have, Mod modified the new recons and they do give you about uh, 15 feet more uh, depending on what the range is when you get it. Normally the effective range, which is not the full range, but the effective range is around 20 feet. So you'll get around 35 feet once you modify it. Um, this one is a bit less, so but we still got about 20 feet, uh, 15 feet more of effective range. So I would highly recommend this mod for any recon. Just make sure not to dry fire. Um, it's a priceless model if you have a drill bit and silicone grease. Uh, so if you have a recon, definitely modify it. Thanks for watching Nerf Silicone Modifications for the Recon CS6.